All right, we're gonna attempt this. We're just gonna go for it. And if I go back and start watching this video and it's like completely under trash, hello and welcome back to a chaotic video today. Um, this is what happens when I procrastinate until the last second on um, what I wanted to make the video on this week. Um, so here we are. I'm out at <laughs> my old recording spot where I recorded my first few videos because um, my husband is playing games with his friends um, and hopefully you don't hear him in the background. Um, and I also apologize for all the, the fans and stuff you probably hear in the background too because it's uh, my AC is kicking on and it's going to kick on and off. And it's noisier out here than it is in the place where I normally record. So, um, popped a pill for my migraine that I feel on coming and... <laughs> We're ready to go. So, all right. So, in this week's video, I figured um, I just I would just embrace the, the chaos I'm feeling today and um, do just a fun tier list video. We're gonna do a tier list based on classical composers' hair. Just like rank them in a tier list based on how amazing or how sad their hair is. Um, because <laughs> I felt like doing that. I don't know, it seems like a really fun concept to do. Um, and not gonna lie, some of them are really, really good hair. So like, we're gonna go for hair overall. So not just like hair on your head, but if they've got like facial hair too, that's gonna give like extra bonus points. You know what I'm saying? So the overall, like just aesthetic of the hair. And I picked just like a random selection of pretty famous composers um, and we're gonna we're gonna rank them based upon their hair and i've got my tier list here with me so uh let's get going of course like adding to the chaos um this tier list only goes through d uh, most tier lists go through f and i said i tried to edit it to add on a, an f tier and it won't let me do that so i guess nobody gets an f tier um, and frankly, just kind of looking at them overall, mm, there might be like one or two I might consider putting an F tier, but we'll get there. I haven't actually made any decisions on um, their hair so far. So uh, <laughs> this is live on the spot. Um, so let's get started right away with, uh, let's do Bach here. So we've got, we've got Bach, um, Bach obviously, is a man of his time. His hair, I mean, technically speaking, the pictures we see him in usually, the paintings, are a wig and not his real hair. But this is the most commonly way we see him. This is the commonly way. This is the most, yeah, this is the most common way we see Bach. Um, so I'm gonna base him, ba like he's gonna get judged based off of his uh, most famous portrait, which is him wearing a wig. So, um, maybe knock off a few points for not being his real hair. Um, but it's, it's all right, I guess. It's not like the worst hairstyle in the world. I don't know, like 17th century style hair is not my favorite with like the long, crazy, curly wigs. Um, so I'm gonna go with, I'll, I'll go with like C tier on this. I'll, I'll see if I change my mind. Um, right now I'm gonna go with C tier. It's, it's okay, it's not the worst. Um, I wouldn't put it in F tier by any means, but it's just like, eh, it's just okay. So next up, we've got Beethoven. Beethoven obviously has really famous hair. It's kind of got that crazy poofness to it. Um, so like pretty iconic. I guess you could give extra points for that. Um, not my favorite though. So I'm gonna give him, let's say a B tier for his hair. Like it's, it's pretty good. I like it. It's kind of, it's got this unique, iconic kind of vibe to it. Um, but it, it, it's still, it's still not like, the, I feel like it could be better. I feel like it definitely could have a better level to it. 
Um, next up, we have Brahms. So Brahms is another one with pretty iconic hair. Another one where his hair is very much a symbol of his time. That kind of late 19th century hair is just, it's, it's good. And I think it's mostly good uh, for the facial hair. I think just, I, I think the late 19th century men in general have a good corner on like monopolizing like the greatest facial hair of all time. So of course that's gonna give him some bonus points because you know, not every composer out here has facial hair. Um, and I think that beard is very epic. I think it's super cool. It's the kind of hair where like if I saw somebody like that in real life today, like if I just walked into a guy at a grocery store and they had like bronze hair, I'd be like, your hair is so majestic. Um, so easily, easily put Brahms in the S tier category for just overall hair. It's, it's really good. Um, next up, we have WC. Uh, WC, he's he's got he's got okay hair. I think it fits his. I think his beard fits his face pretty well. He tends he looks like he has a very pointed face, um, so I think the beard kind of helps that out a little bit. Um, but his his hair on top of his head is a little bit sad. So I think the beard is cool. I think the beard is definitely worth some extra points, um, but. And I, yeah, and I, I mean, I've got a little bit of bias towards facial hair anyways. I think it's cool. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't know about the hair on top of his head. So um, I'm feeling somewhere between like an A and a B tier on this. I'm not, um, I think I'll give him the extra points for the facial hair. I think I'm gonna go with A tier. Um, yeah, like, cause, his hair on top of his head isn't as cool as Beethoven's, but that facial hair is pretty cool, and that elevates it a few levels for me. So I'm gonna put him in A tier for this one. So next up, we have Grieg down here. So Grieg, uh, to me, um, maybe less so in this picture, but like other pictures that I've seen of him, he kind of looks like a discount Albert Einstein. <laughs> I mean, like, does he not? Um, so he's kind of got that little bit of crazy hair going on, kind of like what Beethoven has, but he's a, definitely a level above Beethoven by having a nice mustache. That mustache is pretty darn cool. Um, so I think that definitely ranks him at least an A tier. Do I think he's S tier? I don't know, man. I think it's, it's, it's the... I, I think I think I'm gonna put him as a solid A tier. He's pretty solidly A tier. He's got the cool kind of like crazy hair going on. Uh, he's got a little bit of facial hair like in the middle of that to kind of help mix it up a little bit. But it's not. He didn't like. He didn't commit all the way. You know. He didn't commit all the way to like the full beard. He just he kept kept it with the mustache, which is like respect for the mustache, man. Um, but. Uh, I think I think if he had maybe gone for a little bit a little bit more like down on the chin that would have just nailed it but like otherwise I think it's a pretty solid a tier hair um next up we have John Williams um, I figured I'd throw a more modern composer on here because uh, everybody knows John Williams everybody loves John Williams everybody thinks his music is really cool um so He's, he, I mean, the last guy was a discount Albert Einstein. John Williams, honestly, if we look at him, kind of like a discount Santa Claus. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, he, Cause he's got that, he's got that full beard down here, which I think is great. Um, however, sad to say, this is a hair competition and um, you know, it's hard to compete in a hair competition when you're kind of lacking up top. Um, not his fault, but you know, it's, it, you know, it's a hair competition, so what can I say? Um, but I will give him props to having that beard down there, because you know, if you're losing it up here, you might as well start growing it down here. So I'm going to put John Williams in a B tier. I think he's going to go right next to Beethoven here. He's pretty good. He compensated for the loss of hair. He's still going in strong, um, so I'm going to give him props for that and put him in B tier.
Uh, next up, I have Franz Liszt. Uh, Franz Liszt is on here because he was uh, quite the looker in his day. I mean, that's where the term Listomania came in. Um, and of course, I put him on here in his prime. I didn't pick his old picture. Uh, although, technically, I, it doesn't make a difference because he had the same hair then and then. I was going to say then and now, but like. He's not alive, so it's then and then. But um, back in his prime versus when he was older. Um, and he's got like this one like cut bob length. It's like he went into the future, into the 1920s, saw what like all the women were wearing and was like, I want that hairstyle. Either that or all the women in the 1920s looked back at Franz Liszt and were like, I want that hairstyle. So was he a time traveler or a trend center? I, I don't really know. I guess we'll just have to speculate. Um, but honestly, maybe it's because Franz Liszt just isn't my type. I don't know. His hair is just, it just doesn't really do anything for me. I mean, it it's kind of goes with that crazy frizzy look when he's older. Maybe I like the crazy hair just a little bit more. But even then, it's just like, it's just like one cut and like the curled under bangs and Honestly, it reminds me of my kindergarten picture. I had the same haircut when I was in kindergarten. Um, I just had like bangs along with it. So, I mean, if the best you can do is like the level of a kindergartner, uh, I'm gonna put you in C tier. I mean, he tried. There's clear, there's clear like effort here. Um, but just, eh, mm, eh. Next up, we have Monteverdi. Monteverdi over here has got like that that kind of renaissance hair going on uh like i said not too much on the top but that beard man that beard is so epic it's like that shaped like pointed beard that's like super popular um it, in the 16th century why do i always get my centuries mixed up i think about this kind of stuff constantly. I'm constantly thinking about like historical dates and whatever, and I still cannot get my centuries right. But 16th century, yes. But he's got that like 16th century, almost like what we think of like William Shakespeare-esque kind of like beard going on. And I think that makes up for a lot. I think it makes up for, you know, however short his hair may be on the top. And you know, it's not like Bach, who was like a century later or so, and had to go get fake hair. So, um, I, I, I think his beard is very epic. Um, I guess I have a clear bias towards beards here in this tier list, but you know what? I don't really care, and this is my own tier list. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him into S tier. Sue me. Okay, speaking of fake hair, we have Mozart. So Mozart's another one um, where a lot of his, like his most famous portrait that we know is him in a wig, because it was still a pretty popular thing for a lot of men to do with that era was to put their hair on wigs. Um, this is into the 18th century. However, uh, Mozart's kind of like the last, he's the end of an era, you know? Not many composers after him really started wearing wigs. Um, but he's got that famous, like, the hair, like, brushed back into the ponytails with, like, the buckles on the side. That's a pretty iconic look. However, it's not like Beethoven, where Beethoven is, like, iconic to him. And Mozart just stole a different iconic look. He couldn't, he couldn't even really be original with that. Um, so, mm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead... I'm gonna put him in C tier. I don't hate it. I don't think it's bad, but like, uh, um, mm, okay, now I'm thinking, I'm like, do I like it better or worse than box hair? And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna move Bach down to D tier. I'm sorry, Bach. I just really don't like that hair. I just really, you know, I feel like something better with, I think there's a different hairstyle that would suit him better. Um, I also think there's more Baroque composers who, who pull off the wig better than Bach does. 
Um, and I like Mozart's hair a little bit better than Bach's. So I'm going to move Bach back down to D tier. I'm sorry about anybody who likes his hair, but oh well. <laughs> Next up, we have Schubert. So Schubert's got, uh, he's got a nice, like, Regency. That's the name of it. Uh, he's got a nice Regency era hairstyle. Um, and, you know, you look at it and you're like, oh, it's like pretty basic hair. Um, but then you realize he's got some sideburns going on. So he's he's sneaking it in there. He's he, he's not trying to be any kind of top level hair professional. Um, but, you know, he is going for those extra bonus points. And I appreciate that. So I'm going to take his overall hair. Um, I think it's curly. Let me get a closer look at it again. Okay, so he definitely does have curly hair. Um, which is like, that's a pretty, that's a staple of Regency hair, especially like with women. I don't know if men curl their hair too often, so like maybe his is natural. I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, but you know what? I like it. I think it looks good on him, and he's got the sideburns. So... I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him in A tier. I would put him up there with Grieg and Debussy, you know, the other, like the 20th century composers. Um, yeah, so I appreciate that. I think we're gonna put it in A tier. Okay, next up we have Schumann. So um, Schumann has a couple different portraits. I decided to base it off of this one. There's another one that I found. I think it's of him when he's a little bit younger. Um, and this is him when he's a little bit older, I want to say, but I think this is the more iconic painting of him. And so I'm like, well, this is the more iconic one. I'm going to base it off of this one. And I will say that if you think I'm being unfair to Schumann here, Robert Schumann, um, I think his hair in the other portraits that I was seeing was better. Um, but this hair, mmm. It's like little boy blue kind of thing going on. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of like Franz Liszt's hair, but worse. Um, where do I want to, where do I want to put this here? Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to leave him in the spot he's in, and that's going to represent excuse me my f tier i i genuinely think this is kind of an f tier hairstyle i just it's probably me and my modern perspective but this just i don't i don't understand how this is stylish it's kind of like he's almost got bangs but then it's just like his, his hair that he's like slicked back but then he's like curled it under mm, mm. there's there's just so many levels of this i just don't like so i'm gonna leave him down here to represent F tier. Okay, next up we have, uh, this is Shostakovich. Um, everybody loves Shostakovich and his music, but do we like his hair? That is, that is the key important question here. Uh, do we like his hair? Um, and I gotta be honest, his hair is pretty basic. It's, it's pretty like, I feel like I feel like all the boys in elementary school had this hairstyle when I was a kid. I feel like this is the kind of hairstyle that like, I feel like it's the kind of hairstyle like Steve Rogers would have. Just like, just like nothing, nothing super original. So, um, mm, you might like it. I definitely don't think it's bad. Um, I'm going to put it in C tier. It's just, it's, it's just there. It just is, it just exists. Stravinsky. Stravinsky's pretty cool dude. Um, he's got, yeah, he's got great music and stuff. Uh, but again, we're not basing off of music today. We are basing it off of their hair. And Stravinsky has like almost nothing here. Um, let me just double check. He doesn't have a beard, does he? Um, oh, he does. Oh, wait, he does have a beard. No, not a beard. Like a mustache. Oh, it's like a pencil thin mustache. Oh no, that changed it from what I was gonna say. I was gonna say he doesn't have a ton of hair, so it's like gonna be like F, but like, oh, he's got that pencil mustache. Um, I kind of like that pencil mustache. 
I'm not gonna lie, it kind of reminds me of... Is it like Clark Gable? Is that who I'm thinking of? A lot of those like early, or in the early era of like movies, uh, how all the guy movie stars would have like that thin pencil mustache. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Mm, do I think it's like John Williams cool? You know what? You know what I'll say? I'll say since I barely even noticed it, um, that's gonna take a few points off. His hair is gonna play, take a few points off, but the fact that he has a mustache is gonna be, I'm gonna put him in D tier. I think that's gonna be a good compromise between everything. He doesn't really have a ton of hair on his head, so like there's not much there to work with. He's got the kind of cool mustache that's not like super cool, but it, it is there, um, but you can barely notice it. So I think with all of those factors combined, I'm, I think D tier is, is about where it would average up for me personally. Um, yeah, and so then the last one we have is Verity. Uh, Verity's got, he's got like a full thing going on here. Um, hmm, he's got like the full beard and full hair, but I don't think I like how he styled it as much. Um, but it's not bad. It's not like spectacular by any means. Like it's no, it's no Brahms or Monta Verity. That's for sure. Um, but I think, I think I'm gonna put, I think I'll put him in B tier. I think it's, it's pretty good. Um, it's, why don't we put him over on this side? This side, there we go. Um, it's pretty good. I think it's, it's all right. Um, he's got the full beard. He's got a good luscious head of hair. Um, I, I think it's just the styling of it. It's just not my favorite. Um, so yeah, that was today's video. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, I don't always do videos like this, but I'm totally willing to do more like this if you enjoyed it. Um, and please tell me if you agree or disagree with the, the ranking I have here, because of course, hair is a personal taste. We all have our own personal taste in what we like in hair. Um, and what we don't like in hair. So if you if you agree with me or you disagree, um, I, I kind of want to hear what composer's hairs you'd be willing to fight on. Please put those down in the comments below. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I will see you next time. Goodbye. Should I like maybe turn it a little bit more? I have slightly better lighting. <laughs> that just made it like somehow worse, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put that on. It helps. All right. Keep on trying. Fixed it. Um, next up, we have, oh man, I forgot who this was. How did I forget who this was? <laughs> okay, I forgot. Okay, I remembered now. <laughs> I'm being really mean today. Ah, uh, those. <laughs> oh, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping that in.